Happy Friday, everyone. This is my Friday focus video, and I want to talk about our triune God and give my testimony of how he has been the persons and personhood of the Trinity in my life. Um, as I grew up, I had the typical reaction to what's the Holy Ghost, you know, what, what does that mean? And when you're raised in the church, it's kind of a term that goes in a lot of the doctrine or the stuff that you'll say, and it's Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. And it was changed like later in my upbringing where it became Holy Spirit. So anyway, I, like I said, I was raised in the church and I learned that God was our father, that God stepped down into the earth as Jesus to save us, and that just as the disciples in Jesus' time, we could receive the Holy Spirit as comforter, counselor, guide, <laughs> you know, in all things true and of God. And I have found that to be true. I grew up, like I said, in the church and I was, uh, I was wayward in my, in my youth. <laughs> so I really needed God. And, and then when I became a young adult, I, I was only really wayward for like a year and a half, but it was a doozy. And um, it wasn't until I was decades later, probably, that I really fully understood how all the prayers that I had prayed prior to, hey, God, use me, use me, Lord, use me, Lord, how he would do that in his timing because... I needed to be prepared and the Holy Spirit was implemental in preparing me and got like a knot there and anyway um, the Trinity in my life was just so amazing to watch how God revealed himself to me and as I prayed and sought his counsel and his wisdom because I needed it bad. I had made some really bad decisions in life, but you know, they weren't, it wasn't anything he couldn't help me with. Um, I have no regrets because I wouldn't have the relationship that I have with God had I not lived the life that I did that Jesus died for. So, <laughs> The Holy Spirit is our helper, and God is our Father. He's our Creator. He's our, our our Abba Father. And Jesus did come to take our punishment that is due us for our sins. And once we believe that He and He alone can stand between us and that punishment or that wrath that's due us until we really understand that and he reveals it to us and we follow him and are so grateful and amazingly grateful for that free gift of salvation that is working in our lives from the point we understand it until that happens we we can't have right relationship with God. Not completely. I've known people who've had great relationships with God, and I always felt connected to God, but I hadn't been reconnected through Christ until I was. And so, anyway, the term triune God comes from the understanding that He is God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. And I want to encourage all of you disciples out there who, who may feel 
timid about sharing your testimonies. Don't ever feel that it's it won't help anybody or 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 you shouldn't. <laughs> you should. Because your testimony is a witness to the goodness of God and his power and his might in our lives and how he can restore and redeem. So I encourage all of you who are walking this journey with God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit to be, be aware of your testimonies importance to other people and to share it and to be a light and be that light his light in us don't hide it under a bushel let it out and 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 shine his goodness on others through what he has done for you and boast in him always have a great weekend and we will be having a Sunday video. Our first one was last week, and we would love to have your questions and comments, or you know, if you want prayer, don't hesitate. Use the email address in our uh, YouTube channel, and um, don't, don't hesitate to reach out to us. We collectively have been through a lot, and we know what life can be about. So anyway, talk soon. Bye.